Okay, so you've got this great amaryllis plant and it stopped blooming, now what do you do with it? Well, the answer is simple. Treat it like any other kind of house plant. Keep it, you know, watered and look after it until it dies back, if it's the type that dies back. There are two types of amaryllis, one that dies back and one that doesn't. For the one that dies back, when it, the leaves are gone, put it away in a cool place in the dark and let it stay in, at rest for about well, six to eight weeks. Lie it on its side, that apparently helps it to push the scape out first, that's the part that carries the bloom, and to ensure that you'll have a nice big bloom. And um, after about six or eight weeks, bring it out, start rewatering it again, and perhaps give it a little fertilizer, put it in a nice bright place, and you should see blooms within a few weeks after that. The evergreen type, same thing, it'll just take a little rest. All plants need a little rest at the end of the season, so if it's the fall, maybe cut back on the watering a little bit until it starts to uh, get a little lighter in January and the plant should re, uh, rejuvenate itself quite well. One thing I should mention to you is that all house plants enjoy a summer vacation outside in a nice dappled shade place, and amaryllis are no exception. In fact, they probably respond better in terms of reblooming if you do that. As I said before, make sure you put them in a dappled shade area or some, somewhat shady because the hot prairie sun will scorch the leaves if you don't. I hope that helps. I'm Dorothy Doby for the Manitoba Gardener Living Magazine. And if you'd like more information like this, visit our website.